we focus on being independent that we forget about the nurturing part. So I'll say it's a 50 50, but we more, we lean more to independence. Yeah, because this day and age, <laughs> these niggas don't be doing what they need to guys, do. These guys. guys don't be doing what they need to do. And we have to pick up the slack. What up, what up, what up? This is your boy, Agree to Disagree, and I'm coming at you again with another video review. The video that we are reviewing today is called Picking and Choosing Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women. This is coming from the It's Complicated channel. Great content there. Saw this video, thought we would check it out. So without further ado, let's get to it. Why is a woman's love more likely something that needs to be earned through courtship than a man's love? Because we're worth more than anything in the world. Because men could get, get off to anything and I feel like girls need a little more persuasion to be with someone. I think women are more like consensual and into love than men are sometimes. I feel like a lot of the time uh, we might be harder to please and that the extra effort at the beginning through courtship is something that's greater appreciated through women than men. I was just going to say that men are kind of trash. It's also <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> like, like what did that even have to do with the question? Like I just want to say that men are trash. Woman, who hurt you? But. <laughs> I, you know, the reason why men are, you know, are assumed to do the courting is because there's a a sex imbalance, right? You know what I mean? That guys are, we're just some horny bastards and we just want sex so bad. And women, they don't fiend sex the way that, that men do. So because of that... Uh, they're in a position of power where they can just sit back and watch the men come to them because, you know, uh, women are the gatekeepers to sex because, you know, that's what guys are chasing. And so that's why it's the men courting the women. It's a little old school, I feel like, to be a little more like the courting phase as opposed to the wheeling and dealing that happens these days. Why is a man expected to proudly give away his assets in the hopes that a woman will reciprocate? Because we give that bomb ass pussy. Why did society set things up that way? Yeah, girl, I know. I told you. I told you, girl. Why is a man expected to proudly give away his assets in the hopes that a woman will reciprocate? Because why not give her values when she deserves it? <laughs> well, what makes a woman deserve it any more than a man does? Um, because she provides a family, life-wise. But doesn't the man provide uh, the seed that allows a woman to give birth? Right. So it'll be both ways. I guess they both can be rewarded. They get both rewarded. Well, why don't women typically court men the way men are expected to court women? Um, probably because they're scared. They're probably going to overpower women. If I were to go on a first date again, I would want to be courted. I would want to feel special. Girls, girls, girls take that more into consideration than guys do. So I feel like that's why a guy should do that more than... Well, don't you think that a man also wants to feel special? I think so too, but so I feel why don't like... So why don't women court men? They should. Absolutely. I, absolutely. Well, well, women are not going to court men because why would they give up their position of power, right? When men are coming to you, now you have that power of rejection. You know, you can, you're there. It's, 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 I always like to go back to this example. It's like going into a job interview, you know? You know, if you're the person who's inter, you know, who's interviewing the interviewee, like you have the power because they're the ones trying to get the job. And that's, that's the position that men are there. They're trying to get the position in the the woman's life so when the man is courting that gives the woman the power you know so she can just sit back listen to you talk listen to you say stupid sh stuff or stupid pickup lines or whatever the case may be and they get to decide yes or no 
you could you cute okay you, you you know you you can you can date me you know so they're they're the gatekeepers with all of that they, 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 they should but are they uh, it depends mm, on the woman. well I, I mean how often does that happen not often okay well why, then maybe the man isn't looking for the right woman if that's why do you thing. think that there isn't a push to like you know have women court men to make I think them some feel people, special. Because I think people look at the old time, but I think it should go They don't want to give I up their power. I think you should make your significant other feel special, and I think they should make you feel special. No, I feel, yeah, guys definitely, guys definitely feel the same way, no matter how but many, for first yeah. day, I just think that you're just trying to impress, and that's why guys pay to impress, but it doesn't have to be that way. Absolutely. With and, and, and let me be clear, I'm not saying that women should give up that power right it's if they're in that in that situation where men are coming to them like it, to me it doesn't make no sense just to you know to say you know what we're going to court men in the name of equality like it doesn't make any sense why would you do that for what why would you give up your position of power so you know what I mean especially like women like to say all the time that they are the prize so if you are the prize then right then you you should be courted it shouldn't be you going to the man now right you're it doesn't seem like you're the prize at that point if you're the one approaching right so you know it's the guy who should be approaching this guy who has to approach not saying that women can't approach but it's just like why would you you know what i mean like why would you approach and give up your power when you don't have to it just I don't know if I'm if I'm a woman I'm not doing it I'm not doing it that expectation just kind of like continues like the patriarchy and just like you know what I mean like yeah. it kind of like plays into it um so actually that's interesting I just feel like that's the way it's been for so long and yeah. that... but I mean doesn't that prove that the patriarchy benefits women I think it. I think it has pros and cons for both men and women. Yeah. So why would women want to yes. tear down the patriarchy if there's things in the patriarchy that benefit women? Um, because most of it is um, detrimental. Yeah. Most of it is yeah negative. I'd say like the things in the patriarchy that benefit women in this scenario is like men just treating us with respect, and like the whole courtship situation is like men respecting women and taking them out on dates before they like you know want to have sex with them or like them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's just general respect. And like, if that's the only aspect of the patriarchy that helps women, I'd still fucking tear it down. Right. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think men sometimes are seen as having better jobs and more money than women still, even in this day of age, rather than women are still, I think, a bit seen as the homemakers and the person who looks after the house and the kids. Do you think modern women are more interested in being nurturing or being independent? We focus on being independent that we forget about the nurturing part. So I'll say it's a 50 50, but we more we lean more to independence. Yeah, because this day and age, <laughs> these niggas don't be doing what they need to guys, do. These guys. guys don't be doing what they need to do. And we have to pick up the slack. So it's like, you know, independent. Does, independence. A, man, does a man get to define what a woman is? Not at all. So what gives a woman the right to define what a man is? History. Okay, I'd say you're asking a group of girls that would say independent, but I, I don't. Wouldn't. <laughs> okay, I'd say you're asking two girls who would say independent. <laughs> independent for sure. Um, for yeah. But I also don't think that that not necessarily applies to everyone. What happens when these? Here's the thing. Before 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 they go on, here's my thoughts on the independence versus versus uh, being a nurturer and being in the supportive role. I mean, obviously. As adult, any adult, man or woman, you have to be able to take care of yourself. Cool, right? But this whole idea of independence, where I don't need a man, you know, I don't. You don't see a lot of guys going around talking about how like they don't need a woman, right? We still, men are still able to take care of things on their own, but we're not going around saying, you know, I don't need a woman, right? And I, I think that's like the big thing there. And then you know, another thing is like. <sighs> And I keep saying this, like, independence is lonely, right? You know what I mean? There's, there's nothing wrong with being, you know, codependent, right? Where it's like you have a partner and y'all depend on each other. Like, that can be a beautiful thing where you guys are working together to reach a common goal. And, you know, uh, you see uh, oftentimes with, with women as they go into these 
fields where there are more nurturing roles, you know, teachers, nurses, you know, things of that nature. So it's like they're trying to like fight against their natural urges to try to be like these boss women, these boss babes, you know, and they, they you know, they want to compete with men so bad. But it, it to me, it doesn't seem like it's making them happy. Like, I don't you know what I mean? It, it doesn't seem like they, they get there and then they're not they're not happy afterwards. I mean, you, you chased all you did was chase money and you didn't focus on on family and you know you know a lot of people they say you know uh you know the whole reason i was chasing this money was for my family but then you know you put you know you're so focused on the career that you forgot about your family so it's something to think about women want families i think they become nurturing i think women the minute they find the person that they think they want to f have a family with become nurturing versus independent. I think they want to have their sense of independence and they try to keep their sense of independence, but I think they naturally become nurturing. So then wouldn't that mean that the woman's feminine role is conditional while the man's masculine role is static? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it would. Okay. Isn't that a privilege for women to be able to pick and choose when they want to be feminine? But I think yeah. that's, I think that's, I think we deserve it. Why not? I and men get everything else in the world. Men are... I think there is. Okay, but wouldn't that basically be saying that you're okay with the double standards only when it benefits you and you're only complaining about the double standards when it doesn't benefit Man, this is an excellent point because, like, let's be real. Like, as men, like, we don't really get the option of saying, you know, I just want to be a stay-at-home dad like I don't really want to work like I want my my woman to take care of me you know what I mean like uh, you know I had I had this uh, lady try to argue with me about you know paying on dates you know and I'd argue that you know men pay on dates because a lot of times you know we feel we have no choice a lot of a lot of women are disrespected by the fact that men that a man won't pay on the date or they won't even qualify it as a date if the man doesn't pay or you know you go on a date the man doesn't pay guess what y'all don't get a second date they go back to the friends they call them bums call them cheap oh he ain't even paying the date girl like what what in the world he expected me to pay and da -da -da. so <laughs> you know uh i feel like it's even out of our hands you know as men to to pick and choose you know whether we want to be in that provider role or not it's like we're kind of forced into it. Otherwise, we're just going to be single. Whereas women, you know, they say, hey, look, I get to be a boss babe and independent, but I still, you know, demand these men, you know, and they should love me. And, you know, if you don't love me, you're insecure. There's some privilege there. You got to recognize it. But you? No, I wouldn't say. That's picking and choosing, right? I get, I get exactly what you're saying, but I do also think that double standards are a part of our life, and I think men still benefit from double standards all the time. Can you name any double standards that benefit men? <laughs> you said it. I don't. I think men working sometimes does benefit them. Okay, but does that have anything to do with relationships? Yeah. If a man, if a man is working all the time then it definitely impacts their relationship. But don't you think that women traditionally have wanted men to protect and provide for them? Yeah. I so then would it be any wonder why men are in leadership roles if women wanted it that way? I don't wonder it sometimes. Like, I think there's, I think there's certain women who want to be super independent and have the leadership roles, but then I think there's other women who still want to be the nurturing mother type. I worked hard. In you know, I do think there's, I think there's double standards on, on both ends. Um, for instance, you know, guys kind of, they can get away with, you know, sleeping with multiple people more than women can. Although I feel like that dynamic is changing because now we're saying, you know, women who, you know, sleep with multiple men is empowering and, you know what I mean? Like, you know, is. So I, I feel like that dynamic is, is changing a little bit. I feel like guys still judge women based on their body count more than, than men. But there's, there's, there's double standards on both sides. And so I feel like it's, 
it's better to just accept those double standards because instead of like letting it be like a constant competition well you guys get that okay well you guys get that well y'all get this and you know what i mean it's like okay double st standards exist like let's just <laughs> like let's just acknowledge that and move on like the, a lot of these double standards are not going to change because it's ingrained in us in our society in our biology you know it's these are the double standards and you just have to accept them versus constantly complaining about them yes there's double standards that benefit men yes there's double standards that that benefit women like we just need to acknowledge that and move on in my bachelor's and in my in my life to have a career that I'm gonna very much love I'm going to be financially dependent and I can do things on my own and just like kind of just having men respect that that independence yeah, I would say is the biggest fair. thing I would agree I think for me like also it's kind of the same thing like I don't have to go like preaching about it but like mm -hmm. I think it's just like me knowing in like myself that like I respect myself as a woman and like I know my like I am a woman in the world but also like I am completely independent and like I'm not gonna need to depend on like another person let alone another man to do any of that for me and I feel like in the past that was most definitely true like my grandparents like she depended on my grandpa for a lot of things and like yes. I'm not gonna have to do that and I think that's wonderful and like women are just doing a lot of things and and I just want to say like the whole thing of being like dependent on your your husband like that's not necessarily a bad thing you know what i mean if if your husband has has your back and he is supporting you great you you get what i'm saying like there's there's you know beauty in that like you know like let's say you know you wanted to go to school or go to college or you know do something and so you didn't want to work and then your man was like you know what baby i'll handle th i'll handle things on the financial end and you can go to school or you can work on this project or you can do whatever so you know they 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 make it sound like a man handling the financial side is why you do other things could be housework could be schoolwork could be whatever it's a bad thing it's not necessarily a bad thing you guys are just doing two different things and one saying look I got this part I got this part you know just because you guys are doing two different things does not mean you guys aren't equal let's continue things that they weren't able to do before like right now and I'm fully behind that and it's not like a whole yeah like you said fuck men situation right. it's just it's like not. it's that's not what feminism is yeah it's it's, not it's honestly not about men a lot of people think feminism is about yeah, men but like not. that's the whole like fucking foundation of it is that it's about women like yeah we try to respect the male's feelings as much as yeah. possible because they're already offended that we have women's rights let them have their dominance why do, why do you think men would be offended that women have rights Oh, I hear it all the time. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Like, what, what specifically? Um, I've heard a lot of people say that we shouldn't have rights still today. <laughs> well, I don't know if men are saying that women shouldn't have Who rights. I think that? they're just saying that there should be equal accountability. Oh, equal accountability, I agree with, but to a certain extent. Can you name any rights that men have that women aren't also afforded today? Um, pay. Um, they say that it's illegal now, but I know that they're still doing it on the low, that they pay more men than they do women. Well, right, but it's illegal, so if that was provable, wouldn't there be class action lawsuits happening every day? It would definitely be a class action lawsuit, but... What just happened? She just slapped my ass. Okay, so <laughs> if, a, if a man did the same thing... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just pause right there. Uh, just crazy thing. All right. So one, you know what she said? She just slapped my ass. Now, if a man slapped her ass, her reaction definitely would have been much more aggressive. And it's just crazy how like, you know, women have this thing where they can touch people man or woman and feel like they can get away with it because they are a woman just another example of a double standard um the next thing that i wanted to touch on is when they say that men are higher earnings <sighs> the gender pay gap has been 
disproven time and time again. Uh, first off, men work more hours. Therefore, we're going to earn more because, you know, women get pregnant. They take fraternity leave. Um, also, it's there's been signs that women tend to, like, burn out faster than men when it comes to doing certain jobs. Uh, we also men also take on more high high risk paying jobs. So because the job is higher risk, men make more, right? You don't see a lot of women doing construction or or, or things of that nature. So because of that, that's where you see men earning more. Now, if, if uh, women wanted to do the type of jobs that we did, if they uh, worked the long hours that men did you would probably see that pay gap close. Another thing is that um, women tend not to, you know, argue for um, higher uh, wages like men do uh, because women tend to be more agreeable. Uh, so the whole gender pay gap thing, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So we, 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 we got to stop with that argument. I don't think it's right either way. Right, but... Um, so, like, if a woman were to come slap my ass compared to a man, I feel like that's still not right either way. Yeah, like, that wasn't cool. Does the fact that women no longer need men mean that the main reason women were with men was because they had to be? Yes. Originally, yes. Oh, definitely. Yes. So, definitely. wouldn't that prove that men were often seen as a utility to be used? Yes. Used to be, yeah. Yeah, they So are. then, how is that different than men objectifying women? not so then why are men shamed for objectifying women sexually when women often objectify men financially because that's the society we live in that it's like it's a it's a thing to objectify them versus us well right but i'm just saying shouldn't we each be equally shamed yeah. or maybe no we should nobody is shamed at all no we should we should either be equally shamed well, or not we should shamed at all. but are we all right man he's making some really good points the video is getting a little long here so i'm gonna cut it right there but Guys making some good points. I mean, it's it's hard it's <laughs> it's hard to argue with that. And you know, it's it's kind of it really saddens me when I hear women say, "I don't need a man. I don't need a man." And a lot of men are actually hurt by this when they hear women say, "I don't need a man because you have money now. You don't need a man, right?" Men, we had money and we never went and say, "I don't need a woman." You you get what I'm saying? So it's like <sighs> when one side is saying they don't need you and you know, now that we got money, we don't need you. It's like, well, I guess you just saw us as a big money bag this whole time. So, and, you know, it could have been like, you know, hey, we just saw them as a piece of ass. But like I said, you know, what happens on one end, there's typically on the other end, a same type of dynamic going on. But it seems to me that only the men are being shamed for this. Ah, oh, but that's all I got for this video. You guys let me know what you thought of the video. What points did you agree with? What points did you disagree with? Leave the comments below and let me know what you thought. And if you got anything out this video, hit that like button. This is Agree to Disagree. I'm out.